Appreciate the King of Glory. Appreciate the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, for His goodness, for His mercy, for His compassion, for His loving kindness, for His caring, 
for his ceaseless blessing upon our life, for fighting all our battles, for all and victory. Can you allow God know that you are grateful? Can you appreciate him for good health? Can you appreciate him for renewing your strength? Can you appreciate him for joining mercies at all times? He takes you out safely and brings you back safely. Can you return all glory to the Most High God? Our God desires to be praised. Our God desires to be adored. Our God desires to be magnified. Give him glory. Give him glory. For yet another wonderful day. For yet another glorious Sunday morning. Appreciate God for what he has in store for you today. Thank you for your coming here. This morning will not be in vain. Thank you for what he will do before you leave here. Appreciate God this morning. Thank him. Thank him for he will single you out today. Parima Santali Branding. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have worship. I thought somebody would say a better amen. amen. I want you to lift up your two hands. You want to fire one or two prayer arrow this morning. And my prayer is that the Lord will answer you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Amen. I say the Almighty God will answer you. Amen. There are some of us that our promotion has been delayed. You want to command them to appear now. As many under the influence of my voice, as many listening online, wherever you may be, any of your promotion, either physical, spiritual, financial, marital, that have been delayed, God will fast forward this morning. God will accelerate this morning. Lift up your voice and lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, every delay is promotion in my life every delayed promotion in my life I command them to appear now can you go ahead and command can you go ahead and command I don't know that promotion you have been expecting that have been delayed command it this morning that that delayed promotion we appear now that delayed promotion we come now every power responds for the delay we lose their hold and creep over that your promotion can you go ahead talk to the almighty god man riba ta gazan taliba ma ke reba te gaga baba ka shentalia ka re brande ka santa li baba ka shentali in jesus mighty name we are praying a young man a promising young man apply for a big job a big contract what millions praise the lord he have been believing god that the contract will come but unfortunately it was the day he died that the promotion came they received the mail of the award of the contract the day they were announcing his death can i pray for only one person your promotion will not meet you in the grave only one person is saying amen every promotion god that promised you will come to pass in your lifetime lift up your voice loud and clear say father let my promotion not meet me in the grave let my promotion be now can you go ahead and talk to the almighty god masipa la brande kason talibama kakanda liga gaba shentelele promaskate gazita ndalaba shipalega diga gaba son talibama kasan tali zagala brande kason talia can you cry to the almighty god in jesus mighty name we are praying Something happened to me early hour or this morning. I don't take it serious because I know <laughs> our God is only defending us. I had my midnight prayers and while I was studying, I just dozed off. And suddenly I saw a bus parked and all the people that came out of the bus were all carrying weapons. Praise the Lord. And I was alone in their midst. And one of them was carrying some spiritual weapons praise the lord and it was their leader that first approached me and fired the weapon and the weapon of, was of no effect and before you know it he was paralyzed the second person paralyzed and then the others run i was not even praying i was just looking at it and i tell myself this is how people sleep and they say ah we are seeing this money is no more that will not be your portion can you lift up your two hands anyone wishing you dead 
we replace you in the grave. And anyone planning to visit you with death, death will visit them. Can you lift up your voice like that? Say, Father, say, Father, anyone wishing me dead, we are rather they may be. Oh God, my Father, let them replace me in the grave. Anyone wishing my children dead, anyone wishing my wife dead, let them replace them in their grave in the name of Jesus. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment shall be condemned. For the Bible says, This is the heritage of the children of God. Your heritage is life. Let the weapon of the wicked be made of no effect over your life, over your life, over your home, over your family. Let the weapon of the wicked be made of no effect. All their weapon that they have fashion, it shall be of no effect. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Now you want to lift up your voice? We want to pray for every father in the house. Today is Father's Day, and as many fathers that are represented here today, your head shall be lifted. Every plan attack upon any father here this morning, or will be father, God Almighty will destroy in the name of Jesus. Every head of our father shall be lifted. Lift up your voice, Lord, and say, Father, we pray for all the fathers in the house and all the will be fathers. Oh God of heaven and earth, every plan attack against them, Lord, destroy in the name of Jesus. Lift up their head, oh God. Let them not fail as father. Let them not fail as father. Every father is a husband. Let them not fail as a father. Let them not fail as husband. Let it be well with all the fathers in the house. Can you lift up your voice and pray? Can you cry to God concerning them? Masupa la prata. santa libama. Thank you, my chief father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have prayed. And so, mighty and everlasting Father, I want to say thank you. Lord, we magnify your holy name for the life of all the fathers in the house. Lord, we decree in that name that is above every other name that as many that are fathers and respected fathers, Lord, they will not be failures in the name of Jesus. They will not fail as fathers in the name of Jesus. They will not fail in their responsibility in the name of Jesus. You will make every father in the house good fathers in the name of Jesus. Good husbands in the name of Jesus. Every plan attack against them, let God destroy in the name of Jesus. For every father in the house, I decree here today, your head shall be lifted. The Lord will prosper you on every side. Your family will not suffer. You will not be ridiculed. You will not be put to shame. You will not be disgraced in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you. Anyone wishing you dead, let them replace you in the grave in the name of Jesus. All your delayed promotion, I command it to appear now in the name of Jesus. Let your promotion be now in the name of Jesus. And as the word of God comes for this morning, let the word bless you on every side in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be that name in highest, for we pray in Jesus' name. I thought the Lord God would say that amen three powerful times. Amen. Two. And uh, can you jam your hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Law and make a joyfulness unto the Lord? Before you sit down, everybody remain standing. Before you sit down, walk to fathers near you and say, Happy Father's Day. Shake hands with the fathers. Tell them, Happy Father's Day. Tell them, Happy Father's Day. 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 Amen and amen and amen and amen. You shall all be great fathers in Jesus' name. What makes a father a father? You will never lack. I pray for every father in the house. God will make you stupendously wealthy. 
If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. And let's be seated in his presence. Once again, happy Father's Day and congratulations to you all. Beloved brethren, by the special grace of God, tomorrow, good morning, Holy Spirit, continue. And we're going to be talking about anointing to overcome limitations and embargoes. Anointing to overcome limitations and embargo. You are encouraged to come with your oil uh, so that it is blessed and you are anointed. And the Lord bless you really good in Jesus' name. We are talking about the great promoter. Even though time is not on our side, I will try as much as I can. Our text is taken from Genesis chapter 41, verse 38 to 49. And Pharaoh said unto his servant, Can we find such a one as this is, a man in whom the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand, and put it upon Joseph's hand, and arrayed him in vesture of fine linen, and put a gold chain about his neck somebody will receive divine decoration yes. and he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had and they cried before him bowed their knee and uh, he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt verse 44 and Pharaoh said unto Joseph I am Pharaoh and without thee shall no man lift up his hand of food in all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name Zaphnath Panir, and he gave him to wife Asenath, the daughter of Potphera, priest of On. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. And Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt. And in the seven plenteous years, the earth brought forth by handfuls, verse 48, and he gathered all, and he gathered up all the food of the seven years, which were in the land of Egypt, and laid all the food in the cities, the food of the field, which was run about every city, laid he up in the same, verse 49, and Joseph gathered corn as the sun of the sea. Very much until he left numbering, for it was without number. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. That reminds me, by the grace of God, Saturday is a day out with the God of Daddy G.O. A day out with the God of Daddy G.O. The card goes for just 20,000 naira. It's an avenue for us to eat and dine with our Father and the Lord. And then to support what God is doing through him at the redemption camp. And he bless and pray for us. I've been, over, I've been part of this now over a decade. And I can tell you the tremendous blessing that comes with it. If you have never attended before, I encourage you to see my secretary and obtain the card for yourself and if possible for your spouse and then go and see how God can turn your fortunes around that's all I can just tell you and I know you will testify in Jesus name Amen. beloved we saw a young boy a touchy experiencing an unprecedented promotion. Our God is a great promoter. And when he wants to promote, he uses vessels, he uses men. Many a time, most of us mistake though that God used our promotion for our promoter. 
those God used for your promotion are not your promoters. Rather, the real promoter is God. Can someone say he is God? Why? In the book of Psalm 75, verse 6, he said, For promotion coming neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put that down one and set it up another. Praise the Lord. So God is the promoter. And that's why the Bible says, No man receiveth anything except he be given from where? From above. Except God orchestrate your promotion. Your promotion may not come. And you know what, sir? You know what, man? Promotions are fulfillment of God's promises. Promotions are what? Fulfillment of God's promises. There is no man, there is no woman that God does not have planned for. And that's why Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thought that I think towards you, thought of peace and not of evil that will give you expected death. He says, Say ye to the righteous that shall be well with you. Meaning it does not matter where you are now, your tomorrow will be all right. Yeah. Only one person said amen. Yeah. That is God's agenda. That is God's plan. And that was why at the tender age in Genesis 37 verse 5 to 11, God gave Joseph a vision of his life. God gave him a vision how he was going to be great and how his brethren will bow before him. But he couldn't get there overnight. As a matter of fact, the process for him to get there was not an easy one. And that is why you must know that promotion is not an event. Promotion is a process. Did you hear me at all? Promotion is not what? It's not an event. It's a process. It is not the day you are given that job, you are given that letter of promotion that you are actually promoted. There have been, uh, there have been serious work towards it, either deliberately or indeliberately, either knowingly or unknowingly to you. And that is why you don't get promoted overnight. If you want to get promoted overnight, you can only go up. You can't grow up. And there's a difference between going up and growing up. And I recommend for you to grow up. Because when you go up, the speed you use in going up, the same speed you use to come down. Can I pray for only one person? In that name that is above every other name, your liberty will be certain today. And that is why the great promoter works out for certain things in our life unknown to us. If we want to use Joseph, for instance, you will discover that there are certain things that Joseph went through before the promotion. And for as many of us that desire promotion, we need to be mindful of them and we need to pay attention to them. And I pray for you as you pay attention, your promotion will not elude you. I told you that we're in first service, that one of the process that you pass through for you to be promoted is for you to trust in God. I'm not going to spend time on that. It's for you to do what? Do you know why you need to trust in God? When God speaks, it is done. Because the Bible says, He speaks. And it is what? It is done. He commanded and he stood fast. God is not a man that he should lie. Or son of man that he should come to repentance. Whatever he says he will do, he will do. Why? He have all it takes to do it. Is somebody with me this morning? And that's why if God have ever given you a vision, if God have ever given you a promise of a greater tomorrow, sir, ma, it will come to pass. The one he gave to Joseph came to pass. Your own will also come to pass. If you are saying amen, let your amen be louder than your neighbor. So, sir, so, ma, because you believe God that he cannot lie, that's why you must trust in him. That's why you must put your trust in God. When your trust is, is in God, you are unwavering. You don't doubt him. 
you are unshaking you, st you, you will stand fast and you ensure that a day is coming your promotion will manifest that's why Job said I will wait on the law until what? until my change come somebody change will come because when you are talking about promotion you are talking about change of level you are talking about change of position you are talking about change in rank you are talking about raising up there is somebody here your head will be lifted so sir so man one of the things that you need to go through for you to get promoted by the great promoter is trusting in him don't put your trust in any man don't put your trust where? No, sir, no man. Your life is not in the hand of any man. And that's why if anybody is in your establishment and he said he's sitting on your promotion, he's deceiving himself. Hello? Because when God wants to promote you, God will bypass him. Only one person is saying amen. So like I said, I don't want to spend time on that. Then I spoke about faithfulness in the first service. I also don't want to spend time on that allow me to go straight for the purpose of this service passing through tests let me start from there every man every woman that needs a promotion from the great promoter must pass through test must pass through all you know it while you are in school is there any time that you move to the next class without an examination when you were in primary school, from primary one to primary five or six, you wrote examinations. Am I correct? Your teachers carry out a test. Am I correct? And your post primary, for you to go to secondary school, you wrote what they call common entrance. Am I correct? And when you are in secondary school, before you move from GS1, GS2, GS3, you also wrote exam. Before you move to SS1, you will write exam. Before you will finish your secondary school, you will do work. Am I correct? But you know what? Many a time, tests, I repeat, tests are not a test of knowledge. They are no what? It, was, it is never a test of knowledge, but rather a proof that you are ready for the next responsibility. A proof that you are ready for a bigger assignment. There is no one that will ever get promoted without passing through tests. And that is why when things are not going well in the way you think, sir, ma, you may be passing through tests. Joseph passed through the tests that the master's wife gave to him. Amen. 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 He said to the master's wife, Potiphar's wife, How can I do this and sin against God? Not against my master. How can I do this and sin against God? And that action and him prison or imprisonment. He got to the prison, it was all a test. It was all what? A test. Either you like it or not, your own day of test will come. My prayer for you is that you will not fail. Amen. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Amen. If you read Romans chapter 8, verse 18, it says, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Whatever you are passing through, there is a glory ahead. And that is why whatever you are passing through is not an excuse for you to sin against God. That you are having delay in marriage is not an excuse for you to begin to sleep around with men. That your promotion is delayed is not an excuse for you to sleep with your boss for your promotion. That you are not blessed is not enough for you to become a froster. Yahoo, Yahoo. No, sir. Greatness is perfected in suffering. Go and check all great men and women you will ever think of. They have their stories. Tell me of any great man. 
study autobiography of great men and then you will see their story if you don't want the story you may not get the glory Jesus suffered Philippians chapter 2 read from verse 7 to 9 he said but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even him sorry even the death of the cross wherefore God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every other name he was obedient to death brethren are you obedient when you fail in your title do you know you are failing a test when you fail to pay your offering do you know you are failing a test when you give excuses of your present challenges for not being faithful to God do you know you are failing a test either you believe it or not God will take you through a test and when you pass that test your promotion will come number two those that desire promotion must carry an excellent spirit hello 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 what is an excellent performance or an excellent spirit an excellent spirit is constant commitment to superior performance at all time I repeat an excellent spirit is constant commitment to superior performance at all time I want to beg you brethren anywhere you find yourself anytime you are giving an assignment please and please put your best into it because unknown to you that might be all you need for your promotion hello hello I was only giving one opportunity in a lifetime to hold microphone like this hello I was in the congregation just like any of you it's just like me walking to one of you here now and say tomorrow you'll be preaching I know you first of all want to wee wee if not on your body let's have a shout hallelujah maybe I should just walk to one of you now and give you the microphone <laughs> somebody say don't come to me <laughs> hello that's why I am surprised at times when the word of God is coming forth like this many of all we don't write down anything it's not too good it's not too what sir either you believe it or not you have not come to the house of God to waste your time either you like it or not God is passing a message to you and you know what information that is not retrievable is not reusable any information that you cannot retrieve back there's no way you can be able to reuse it why your memory is limited it can store but it will need reactivation for whatever you store to come back to you and that's why it is very important that when you sit in the house of God like this endeavor to write down something it might not be all the things but please write down something never come to the house of God without your notepad and your Bible if not for what the preacher is saying God can drop a message in your spirit man that you may need to write it down don't just come to church just put your hand like this by the time you step out of that door if they ask you what did the pastor preach you have forgotten hello thank God for me that ever since I gave my life to Christ I never go to church without notebook so the day my pastor told me I was going to preach I asked myself what will I preach hello but thank God I've been writing when he's preaching so I went back to the notebook of the thing he had been saying I came back 
to preach the same thing I had him preach. Hello? What made the difference was the Spirit of God that backed me up out of fear. Because out of fear, I fasted and prayed. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. And at the end of the day, the Lord helped me. By the time I finish, He said, You will take digging deep. When I finish, you will take fake clinic. When I finish, I became preacher all the time. That's why I'm holding microphone today. Can I pray for somebody here, sir? Can I pray for somebody, sir? In that name that is above every other name, may the excellent spirit of God rest upon you. Sir, ma, I want you to know, sir, I want you to know, ma, that you must be driven by a spirit. You hear people say something. They say, what world doing at all? What doing well? Sir, it is true, sir. That's why by his grace, I learned over time to go on autopilot. I don't like people harassing me for assignment. Just tell me what my responsibility is and leave me alone. And listen to me. Consider it done. Brethren, when you carry an excellent spirit, it is an evidence that the spirit of God is in you. If you are the type that you do things washy washy, I'll be wishy washy. I'll be how do they put it? Sir, ma, that means you don't carry an excellent spirit. When you carry excellent spirit, when you step into a place, you are correcting things that are wrong there. Hello? That's why, by the special grace of God, this auditorium, it may be boy scotter. Am I correct? But I said to myself, though it might be a boy scotter, it will carry a mansion identity. Is this place not beautiful? Hello? Is this place not beautiful? So much more, somebody asked me, Pastor, what are you building again? Is this place not beautiful enough? But the Bible says, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. And that's why we are moving there. Hello? Is somebody with me this morning? Sir, ma, in your working place, even in your home, as a wife, as a husband, be driven by excellent spirit. Anything you want to do, put in your best. Sir, ma, very soon, very soon, very soon, very soon, somebody will take notice of you. And that was why when God was to promote Daniel, the Bible says of all the president, he stood out. Excellent spirit makes you to stand out. Excellent spirit is the spirit of distinction and it differentiates you anywhere you find yourself. And the Bible says because an excellent spirit was found in him. Read Daniel chapter 6 verse 1 to 3. I am praying for you. Everywhere you go, an excellent spirit will be found in you. That was why God said, concerning Joseph, Pharaoh said, can we find such a man as discreet as he is? A wise man. A wise what? A wise man. Stand on your feet. Lift up your two hands. Somebody will contact an excellent spirit. Sir, I have a desire. If every one of us here carry and listen to me, do you know the problem of Nigeria? Do you know the problem of Nigeria? Sir, ma, Nigeria is not a cause, can never be better until the day we stop promoting mediocrity. The problem of Nigeria is not because we don't have people, but we don't put the right people in the right place. That's why somebody will score 300 or 200. They will go and give admission to the one that scored 100 under the guise of what? Federal character or quota. Sir, ma, no nation progress in that way. No what? No nation. No nation. Somebody will sit in his office and cross his leg and be drinking tea. He knows nothing. 
he knows nothing i mean absolute nothing and you say the country will be better unless there is an overhauling and i pray god himself will stir up a revolution that we overhaul this nation in the name of Jesus. We are coming into another season of election. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. If you go and put mediocre, listen to me, sir. Those of you running away from that process, you are not doing yourself good. If God has given you the grace, put your neck there. Do you know why? <laughs> Do you know why? I went to a, an office with my PA. Oh my God. Oh my God. I will not mention the office. We got there. I asked him. I said, so these are the people ruling us. How, how will you expect anything better? Through of us. Sir. An office of an executive who taking care of your environment. You need to see the crop of people that were coming there. And those are the people taking decisions. And you say things will be better. No way. No way. No way. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Lift up your two hands. Say, Father, baptize me with excellent spirit. In my business, in my career, let me manifest excellent, excellent. In ministry, excellent. Anywhere I go, excellent. The best, the best, the best, the best. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Mazipa la branda kasanta li mama. Zebrodo kashenta li mama kasanta li. Kabo repate kasanta li ba kasenta liya. Thank you, Mighty Father. In Jesus, Mighty name, we are praying. Finally, for this service, we we'll meet in the third service. I don't have time. That's why we are always cutting it short, 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 short. But I believe somebody has been blessed. Brethren, those to be promoted must have a clean hand and a clean heart. A clean what? <laughs> Psalm 24, verse 3 to 6, as I read, and then we pray, I will be on our way. It says, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in the holy place? He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Brethren, the work of your hand, how clean is it? How clean? How clean? If your hand, if the work of your hand is not clean, sir, ma, there is no way your promotion will come. If you are using your hand dirtily, sir, ma, unknown to you, it doesn't matter how far you go, you are coming back. You are going down again. That's why Yahoo Yahoo can you can never prosper, Yahoo Yahoo. Clean hand. And the Bible talks about clean heart. You can never have clean heart until you receive Jesus into your life. But the Bible says, human heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So it is only Jesus and the blood that can clean your heart and then you can think right. Until your heart is clean, you can't think right. The one with dirty heart have no vision. Oh my God. Lift up your two hands. Here am I. Help me. Here am I. Help me as the Lord help somebody. Here am I. Some people's cries to cry for salvation. You need a clean heart to be able to become what God wants you to be. It takes Christ in you for your heart to be clean. I don't know how many of us want to come to Jesus this morning. You are tired of your life. You are tired of your situation. But you need Jesus. You know it. You need him. For you to climb up, you need clean hand and a clean heart. Your hand cannot be clean until your heart is clean. The only way is for you to surrender to Jesus. 
the only way for you is to rededicate your life to him if you are here at this point you want to rededicate your life or you want to come to him afraid can you wave your hand at me god bless you my brother god bless you, my sister if you are waving your hand don't wave it to heaven god bless you ushers can you help me attend to them can you help me attend to them raise those hands to heaven you want to say lord jesus come into my heart i want my life to change i need you save my soul you are the one to lift up your right hand lift it up 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 god bless you my brother god bless my sister if you are raising up your hand can you come to the altar i will count one to three if for eventually you are still contemplating it's better you do so now so that your life can receive change one direct them though that have raised their hand direct them to come two i'm counting just three because my time is spent yes 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 any other person 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 if you are not sure of your salvation come now come and rededicate your life or you are those so you are bastly there come 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 he, he will not cast you away no man come to him and he cast them away it's between you and him if you are sure of your salvation can you stretch out your hand to those that are standing and say lord jesus save their soul as you have saved my soul if you can't pray that prayer that way come out here now and the rest of us can go ahead and pray for them lord save their soul as you have saved my soul if you know your soul is not yet saved you come out now let them pray for you so that you can be part and parcel of god's kingdom come now and god will save your soul and deliver you thank you mighty father blessed be thy name in higher in jesus most wonderful name we are praying precious father i want to thank you for the life of these your children lord wash their sins away by the blood remove their name from the book of death and destruction rewrite their name in the book of life lord from today let their head be lifted from today let them experience promotion spiritual promotion physical promotion all around promotion in jesus name kindly follow my sister one minute and then you join us back open your eyes please follow her follow her one minute Let's of all, can we please lift up our hands to heaven? Everybody, please lift up your two hands to heaven. Only one prayer you want to pray. And say, Father, Father. let me not be my own enemy. All I need to do for my promotion to be now, oh God, my Father, help me now. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Oh Jesus, help me now. Help me not to ever be my own enemy. In the name of Jesus. Oh Rebo Shatala Baba Baba Baba. Pale Bobo Shanda Riba Son to Riba Shantara Baba Baba. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Brethren, let's spread forth our hand to our Father in the Lord. Let's pray for him that the grace of God upon him will be on increase that on a daily basis God will increase his anointing and power upon him pray that the almighty God will empower him on a daily basis and everything he needs everything he needs for this great promotion that the almighty God will release it upon him in ministry and the secular will go in his office. God will promote him in the name of Jesus. God will promote him even in the church of God in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your son. We thank you, O God, for using him mightily for us this morning. We pray that every virtue that has come out of him, you will replenish in a thousand for in the name of Jesus. You will protect him and the entire family, his wife and children in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, because you have used him so mightily for us this morning. If the enemy want to raise their head, Father, cut off their head in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be to your holy God. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody say it better. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time to give our offering. It's time to give our offering. It's time to bring our tithes. It's time to bring our building offering. It's time to bring our first fruits. I can go on and on and on. But if you trust God, if 
you trust God, you will obey his voice. And if you are faithful, like we are told this morning, God, as you obey God and trust God, and you are faithful in all this offering, tithe, best food and building offering, your life will never remain the same. I pray as you hear the voice of God this morning, you will learn to trust God more and you will be faithful. And as you do all that we have told you this morning, you will prosper in Jesus' name. So please let's rise as the choir will lead us. Let's give joyfully. Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Nisi, you are a great promoter, you are the mighty God. We give you glory, honor, power, majesty, you are the Lord forevermore, Jehovah. promoter we appreciate you thank you for your word to us this morning thank you for the reason why you have sent this word to us Lord God Almighty we believe our life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus Father in obedience to you God we have brought all our offering we have brought our first fruits our building offering our tithes and our Sunday offering unto you for this obedience, O oh God, give us promotion. On every side, promote us in the name of Jesus. Lord, because of this obedience, that our topmost desire, let heaven release to us this morning in the name of Jesus. And take far away from us every form of lack in the name of Jesus. For this offering, take sickness far away from us. Take diseases far away from us. In the name of Jesus, prosper us, O God. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please let us be seated. God bless you. As we quickly listen to the announcement. symbolizes protection. We want to use this medium to appreciate our father, intending fathers, pastors, and teachers. We see your effort towards us and 
we appreciate it. Those who gave your life to Christ during this service or during any of our previous services, please wait for Believer's Class immediately after the service. God bless you. Good morning, Holy Spirit runs from Monday to Friday. Monday service being our anointing service. Please come with your bottle of anointing oil. The time is 5.45 a.m. Ministry is Pastor Sunday Abose. On Tuesday is our digging day. This is a time we come together to search the scripture and the time is 6.30 p.m. Wednesday is our house fellowship and the time is 7 p.m. Please note that some centers meet on Sunday. So please check the back of your bulletin to know what center is closest to you and the day it meets. Thursday is our faith clinic. This is the time we come together to pray until something happens. And the time is 6.30 p.m. On Saturday, we gather together at the church premises by 4.30 p.m. to pray before launching out to win souls for Christ. This is for everyone that desires the touch of God in their life. Come and be part of this blessing. The widows are announcing their meeting, which is going to hold tomorrow, Monday, by 5 p.m. And the men's fellowship meet this Saturday by 7 a.m. Please be security conscious. There will be security protocol escort whereby you will be screened before stepping into the church premises. It is advisable you come with only your Bible, your jota, and your pen. God bless you as you comply. Next Sunday is our miracle service. The first service starts at 7.30 a.m., the second service at 9 a.m., and the third service at 11 a.m. In between the second and the third service is our Sunday school. Come with your friends, come with your loved ones, and be blessed. On a final note, focus on God and the great promoter will elevate you beyond your wildest dreams. This is the CEO of Health News. I am Tony Lopez Ariel. Have a lovely week. God bless you. Amen.